What's up, folks? Going back to the fishing shop. Oh, man. Going back to get some larger hooks, I guess. Just in case I hook it into some um, ladyfish. Got to use them as bait again. Um, you know, I have these five-out hooks. And like what Kevin and Georgie were saying, uh, not big enough for using a live bait such as a ladyfish. Um, I think they're probably, it's probably a good size of using those. You know, when you cut up the ladyfish in small chunks. But I tried that twice out there at that point, Rocky Point with Marco Island. They didn't want anything doing. They want the whole live fish. That's what they're attracted to. And so, you know, um, I'm over in Naples now. I'm gonna stop at Serenity Bait Shop. Um, see what they recommend for a size hook. Probably have to get something double, uh, maybe even triple. I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking maybe hook them in the back. You know, I've never done this stuff before. <laughs> so cut me some slack, fellas. I mean, you know, I would say it's similar to using like um, uh, suckers for musky. It's basically the same thing. They're kind of slender like that. It seems what these apex predators like. Um, oh, it is just so exciting. You know, I, I think one of the first videos I made over here, I said, I'm not going to be using live bait. When you start seeing how those giant snook go after the ladyfish, it is totally worth it, man. Totally worth it. It's pretty intense how they just start taking out your drag. Um, great fighters and all that. But um, so we're going to go in here now, see what they recommend, um, and go from there. What's up, man? Uh, I'm looking to get like probably a two time or three time bigger hook um, using ladyfish as bait for a snook. Right. What size hook would you recommend? So you want bigger than that? Yeah, probably just so I can hook the ladyfish. I mean, I've been losing a lot bigger snook. I was fishing over at Mark Markle Island. I just probably need something a lot bigger than this. I mean, I, I think for using a little chunks, they use something like this, but it's... Using the whole thing? Yeah, using the whole... That's what they want, man. I tried live? using the chunks. They're not going after it. Using it live? Yeah. Um, so, I think oh, the biggest I have is 7 on. Yeah. It should be fine. I think maybe you're just hooking it a little bit too deep. To try hooking it a little... How are you I'm hooking going it? going to nose. Um, try hooking it through the top of it. So like in front of its first fin, go to the top about a quarter of an inch deep. Oh, so in the back you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, try that. So a seven knot. Uh, and you... I got some, I got some nine knot circles. And that's that's just kind of like where you. Those are more from hooking the side of the mouth, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I thought you guys had some giant hooks in here. No sir. Maybe that was the shark hooks over there. Where? I don't know. I... I came in here once and I was probably looking at those or something. Maybe. That'd probably be too big. What about those mustads? It's a 6 off, 7 off. Okay. Well, it could work. I, I, I'm just personally not a big fan of mustad hooks. Yeah. No. Owner's awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Do you fish for snook or no? Yeah. Do you? What do you usually use? Do you just use like pinfish and stuff? Um, I use. Ladyfish. Ladyfish is my favorite. Ladyfish or Are lizard. you chunking it up or using it live? I use a whole. Okay. That's, uh, it seems like because that's what they're going for. I tried chunking it up, cutting it up, and they just didn't want it. They're smart fish, man. Uh, I mean, where are you fishing, Marco? I was. I'm over here now. I'm probably going to go back there for a weekend in a little bit, so I want to be better prepared. But you probably know. I mean, it's like I was hooking them through the nose. I wasn't letting them take them out. I'm so used to artificial yeah. fishing and I'm setting the hook and it's just they're, it's just coming right Let out of the mouth. Let it eat for a little longer. Okay. Let it eat. And then once you feel the big thud and yeah. you start taking it, just whack them. Okay. Oh my God, it's so much fun. I lost six of them. That's how yeah. amateurish I am. Yeah. No, I lose big snook all the time. It Dude, happens. It's okay. I'm making videos too and it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Eternal Angler. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I usually fish for musky and stuff. I would say this is kind of similar to what those guys do with the suckers. Uh -huh. 
but I usually just artificial use artificial bait for muskie so yeah. I'm not really a live bait fan per se but after seeing I mean those those it's like within five to ten seconds those giant snook come up and take it it yeah. just you could be out there casting forever just to get one snook yeah. so they it's really so like much the live the chunk stuff is good for like in the passes okay yeah but like they, they like the live the best is it fish work good too is it possible to still get ladyfish out on the beach naples oh, beach yeah, over yeah. there okay throw like a quarter quarter uh quarter ounce pump in a jig okay well i've been just getting them on oh yeah 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 uh a three eighth ounce jig yeah. or my jerk bait yep. the extra mm -hmm. cool man uh, if you fish that doctor's pass yet the, the dock doctor's pass oh i don't know where they I, i'm just kind of new to this area a good spot doctor's pass is full of snook right now is it anytime like beginning of the summer there is yeah. like school of 50 that's one by oh shit they're Monsters? not all big but there's oh, some okay. there's some there's some like solid 30s mm -hmm. 30, 30 to 40s cool man maybe i'll get a jig too i don't know i don't have it i've been getting them on x wraps just like that size snook but the the bigger ones using a live bait are monsters yeah well i'll just get this it is so much fun <laughs> yeah what do you what combo do you use do you use like a 5000 i'm using a 4000 four is fine okay i use a four with like a because i mean heavy rod for musky i do use a 5000 with a surf rod so 641 cool man thanks for all the tips appreciate it yep right here okay any artificials you use for snook on occasion or you just totally love it um actually i'm um primarily artificial oh are you i like to do yeah I bought a few of those flare hog jigs and one ounce. I had a monster fall it up, but it seems like I think they're more likely to go for something reaction bait, like a jerk bait. Yeah, like on I've the been... lights, they love little jerk baits and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's why I've been, I'm mean, getting the smaller ones in the x wrap but I had a monster fall it up on the flare hog jig yeah. and I just couldn't get them to bite though. I like flare hogs and like paddle tails. Okay paddle tail swim baits yeah. what, what brand do you use those school techs or no i i, I think those are overrated yeah. after i looked them up i mean for how much they cost 25 bucks i like um i like i like the spoons a lot oh okay top top water dark dark spins are really cool okay i bought one of those what size do you use i Just, use i use the well if i'm going for snook i use these going for okay peacock bass i'll use small 3.5 is that that's a four and four. a half that's good to know. Yeah, or uh, I'll just uh, Ryan, the other guy that works here, he makes all all those paddle tails. I like those too. Okay, maybe I'll get one of these. And I do have a thick was it? Yeah, three and a half foot. So you get them? What do they? Do they just like trash the water or what, man? What is there a? Is I mean that's a top water, right? Yeah. I mean, I use that for bass. I've never used it for like musky or anything. Is it? Really is it pretty snook. exciting? The snook love it. Is it? Sounds like a shotgun when they try to eat it. No shit. Yeah, snugs, jacks, they love it. Huh? Something. Even even now, right about now? Oh yeah. No kidding. When it's, when it's, when it's starting to warm up in the mornings, they love it. No kidding. Okay. Like it's if you're at the Marco know. Bridge, sometimes in the morning you still see, see the jacks on the water just pop, 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 pop. No shit. Like crazy. Throw awesome. one of those in the middle every time. Okay. Maybe I'll just. Uh... And there is a swim bait over here rec you recommended to. I think I'm going to get one of those. I think I'm going to come back for a zero, but just start off with these. Um, like if I'm fishing the light or something? Uh huh. Uh, just take one of these three, three inch swim baits with a jig head. I like this color the best. Yeah, you don't use, use anything a little bigger or no? Only if I'm down by the Marco Bridge. Oh, okay. I hooked into like a like an 80 pound tarpon the other night on one of those. Really? Yeah. Oh, just this? No, I, I was using one of these big ones. Oh, okay. But these kill kill snook on the lights. Do they? Yeah. Sweet. What uh size jig head are you using? Three eighth or quarter? Or? With that, I'll use a quarter. Okay. God, I would die to fucking hook into tarpon man if you want some tarpon uh go down 41 
Yeah. Yeah, like uh, way down on 41, like by State Road 29. There's like the holes off the side of the road filled with tarpon. Really? Yeah, tarpon, and I've got some big snook down there too. Okay. Cool, um, man. I use, I throw that thing down there. Is the tarpon like it? Oh yeah. No shit. I've cut some solid 15 pounders out of there. Cool, man. Uh, all right, what should I get? What should I get? Hmm. Are you saying you got a tarp in there, man? I'm thinking maybe get one of those. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll come back. I'll just bring me up for this. I'll okay. come back. Thanks for the tip, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been blowing so much money on fishing, right? Yeah. This stuff is addicting. Yeah, that's where all my good money goes. Nope, oh, wrong. Hotel card. <laughs> yeah. Don't wanna. Uh... Yeah, I'll be down here more often in the springtime now, so it's a lot of fun fishing down there. Alright, brother. Thank you. Thanks. Me. Yeah, thanks for all the tips, man. Take it easy. Yep. Alright, so if you guys are in the area over here in Naples, you know where to stop in for some great knowledge and tips. Uh, Serenity Bait Company and Tackle, oh my god, and gave them some great tips on what lures to use for snook and even tarpon, man. Um, this side is stuff it up and get a four and a half dark, hyper elastics darp spin. Um, maybe see if I can try using this for snook as well because I have the seven inch and then I have the three and a half, and I think the three and a half is a little too small. But I ended up getting a lot bigger hook. Um, hopefully, um, this will help me increase the chances of getting a snook next time I use a ladyfish. Um, he said kind of hooking it in the back, and I think that's the trick. Hooking it in the mouth is more likely to just slide right out, and that's what's been happening. But I'm going to hook him in the back with the 7-aught next time I get a ladyfish and see what's up. But he was just telling me a lot of great spots for snook and tarpon just going down 41 here. So, um, but I think I want next spot I want to fish is just Naples Beach, head over there, um, and see what I can get, man. It's <laughs> I just went in there just for some hooks and I'm ready to buy the tackle shop again. That's how it goes. Um, I do want to buy some swim baits next time I'm in there um, but anyways thank you all, all you guys for watching I'm really enjoying this saltwater series I know my buddy Mark is too um, he's a pretty big live bait fisherman um, I know when I came down here I said I was just gonna use artificial uh, one of the first videos I made was that strategy but after seeing those snook definitely the monsters just come right up to the bait within five to ten seconds you can't beat that i mean i was tossing everything at them because i'm seeing them near the rocks there flare hawk jig jerk bait even one of the smaller jigs what didn't want anything to do with it Ooh, that was close they didn't want anything to do with it and so if you you know if you can catch like get out there with some live ladyfish and just catch a monster snook within five to ten seconds what are you gonna do what are you gonna do folks and that's what i've been doing i've been just using ladyfish as live bait and now i'm hooked on that and that's you using the bigger ladyfish instead of just the chunks i did try some chunks they just didn't want anything to do with that either but using the whole ladyfish that's where it's at to get those monsters totally worth it Anyway, he's gonna head back now. Probably not gonna fish today, still recuperating. After like six days in a row of fishing at Marco. Yes, that was intense. So much fun, so much fun. Anyways, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and tight lines.